out of this chaotic condition of the virus outbreak, Allahu Akbar, not only in stores, but people are taking to the internet to sell halal hand sanitizers. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So today we're going to do another reaction video. But before I get into the reaction guys, I want to say thank you so much for giving us, uh, for getting us to 13,000 subscribers. We ended up uh, of getting to 14,000 subscribers and I know we're going to get there in two weeks probably and also want to thank the people who've been able to you know subscribe to our channel you guys are amazing uh the people who've been able to give us reaction uh, suggestions and whatnot you guys are amazing so now we're gonna do a reaction video and this one was suggested by a lot of people man a lot of people uh they suggested that we should go react to these people are fooling you must watch interesting video so without any further ado guys let's get it Let's see. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are doing well. Speaking of alcohol, with the recent outbreak of the 2019 virus, many merchants have begun selling halal hand sanitizers in Malaysia. Since alcohol is not permissible for all Muslims, some Malaysians have begun selling hand sanitizers made out of ethanol as an alternative. Many of them are marketing the product as Muslim friendly. But what makes this worse is that some of these merchants are selling their halal hand sanitizers for a much higher price compared to the ones found in stores. What a time in our life we have come to where people are dying and rather than coming together to help one another in efforts, some people are trying to profit themselves out of this chaotic condition of the virus outbreak, Allahu Akbar. Not only in stores, but people are taking to the internet to sell halal hand sanitizers by telling the general public that their hand sanitizers have ethanol to replace alcohol, which people are believing. The chaos among people, where they are overstocking of grocery, toiletries, housekeeping supplies, etc. to such an extent where the stores are now empty. Hand washes, tissue papers, and hand sanitizers are almost out of stock online and in stores. This virus has really got to some people where they are going mentally unstable out of fear and agreeing to pay double the price for that commodity. And this is how these online sellers are tricking people and are making more dollars. Astaghfirullah. The ruling of the usage of alcohol in Islam is forbidden in terms of wine and other drinks. Our team wanted to give our audience a foolproof answer regarding the usage of alcohol in hand sanitizers. Therefore, we contacted Ismail ibn Musa Maik, also known as Mufti Maik from Zimbabwe, and this was his answer. Brother, there is a very big difference between Tahir and Najis on one hand, and Halal and Haram on the other hand. Tahara and Najasa means purity and impurity, generally referring to what makes you pure or impure if you were to touch it. And the halal and haram but generally refers to when talking about foodstuffs that which you can consume. So anything that intoxicates you is haram, but not everything that intoxicates you is najis. Regarding alcohol, it's an English word that has a very, very broad meaning. So, some of the alcohol, if it is wines and beers, then in Islam it is both najis as well as haram. But if it is alcohol made from a, you know, from the laboratory and it's synthetic alcohol that they use in perfumes and lotions and creams and sanitizers and alcohol swabs, then as much as it is haram to consume, if one were to consume it in one form or another, because of the intoxicating factor, it is tahir, meaning it is pure if you were to touch it or apply it. And I've said this for the last 30 years, and that's why people say alcoholic perfumes. No one puts wine or beer into that alcoholic perfumes. It is actually something that is more pure in its purity than normal water, because uh, when you would like to sanitize something or disinfect 
before an operation or before an injection, you would use an alcohol swab, not just a water swab. So it has its own properties, although it is haram. So one is not allowed to make wudu with it for several reasons, but because of the taste and the smell and so on. But one is definitely allowed to use it. There's absolutely no doubt that any synthetic alcohol is actually not najis, it is tahir, but it is haram to consume. Something quite simple, Habibi. We've said this for 30 years every day of our lives. Subhanallah, brothers and sisters, it is not wrong to take precautions and therefore to use sanitizer or any other substances which involves protection against diseases. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He soon releases this world from the agony that is suffering from. Amin. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Wow. Wow, such an amazing video over here. I mean, typically uh, they're just trying to explain to you that hand sanitizers are not really bad. You get it? Uh, as long as it's something that is going to heal you from uh, certain diseases, uh, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, people probably try to misunderstand sanitizers and alcohol. Alcohol is something that you're consuming. It doesn't heal you from anything. It's just you're consuming it so that you can have the, the, the pleasure or maybe probably the leisure or whatnot or something like that but hand sanitizer is something that uh you 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 use it to heal yourself from certain diseases or maybe from con contacting such uh, uh any any kind of disease or something like that so i think it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing i think those people who are saying it's a bad thing i think they're trying to spread the propaganda and whatnot but I know of people who are actually taking advantage of the situation and you know trying to even mix it with some you know funny chemicals and whatnot you know I saw one thing on the internet people are using alcohol to sanitize their hands <laughs> which is uh, I don't think it's a good thing I mean it's not really it's not doctors uh, prescribed or something like that that's really wrong and according to the video over here it, it shouldn't I mean that's a ram you get it so anyway thank you so much anyway if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section tell me exactly what you feel about this reaction video and what do you feel about this video and what do you feel about my reaction just let me know in the comment section below and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least I'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out <music>